Hello everyone. Today's video I wanted to talk about the performance of the Xbox Series X in relation to the PS5. So a lot of you have probably seen the digital foundry analysis on Devil May Cry running on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. And you might have saw the fact that it ran much worse and much less consistently in the performance mode than on PlayStation 5. So I'm going to give uh, my theories on what that could be and I'm also going to show you other examples of this happening because I have watched every single game that is patched on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X running next to each other just to make sure that this wasn't just a one game issue, a one time thing. And it turns out that it's not. It actually happens on AC Valhalla which runs much better on PlayStation 5 in my opinion. There's a lot of screen tearing issues on the Xbox Series X and the game's going to come up here pretty soon and you will notice that the PlayStation 5 basically keeps a lock 60 and the Xbox Series X keeps jumping around in the 50 FPS region. Now my theory for what this is well let's look at the frame rate first you see it's 58, 57, PS5, 60 now my theory for what this is, is it has something to do with the CPU. Now I know the Xbox Series X has a better CPU, they're the same architecture. Xbox Series X is slightly higher clocked and it's not a variable, so it's constant, which means it should perform better, it should be more powerful. However, look at this screen right here. See how they're both at 60? No problems at all. Now watch as they get up to these groups of people when the, when the AI starts kicking in. See, that's when it starts dropping. Now, because of this part right here, and also because the Xbox Series X outperformed the PlayStation 5 in the ray tracing mode and, and the 4K mode and stuff like that, that tells me that the GPU is more powerful. But at super high refresh rates or super high frame rates and in CPU intensive parts of games, which both those things rely heavily on the CPU, uh, that's when the Xbox Series X falls behind the PlayStation 5 when screen tearing kicks in and when frame rates become inconsistent. So that tells me that the CPU, although more powerful, is working less efficiently. So it seems like Xbox needs to fix their SDKs. Uh, something might be wrong with the API or something. I don't really know what the issue is, but if the games are if games are going to run at identical settings, but they're going to perform. Uh, worse on the Xbox Series X, then that basically means that it's weaker, although it's more powerful, and that's going to disappoint a lot of people that thought it was stronger, so this seems to be, I mean, because it didn't just happen on one game, it seems to just be a Microsoft issue much more than a Ubisoft or Devil May Cry developer issue, so I hope uh, Microsoft can fix it, because I think all these consoles have a lot of potential. So thanks for watching the video. Peace out.